Hi everyone, How, how's the conference so far? Yay, a little bit, you can do better than that. Uh, yes, after lunch and maybe you need a couple of minutes to recover. So uh, again, thank you for being here. We're gonna be uh, presenting a little bit about the Romanian software industry over here. Uh, it's gonna last about 30 minutes. Feel free to jump in and ask questions if you have any about the Romanian industry or about how we can get organized. And these days, it's a lot, about, a lot of talk about uh, organizing and doing stuff in this country. So, uh, we already have the introduction done, so I'm just going to jump into the discussion and I'm going to ask Valerica to present a little bit, Anis, and especially the whole big picture of what's, how big is IT in Romania actually, uh, catching up with India or not. Uh, so, th thanks, Alex. Um, hello, all. Uh, my name is Valerica Dragomir. I am executive uh, director of ANIS, which is uh, a briefly association of uh, software companies in Romania. We represent the interests of the industry, of the uh, owners and slash employers. Uh, a little bit of history, let's say. So, uh, we're going to um, uh, celebrate 20 years next year. So, ANIS has been on the market, let's say, for, for a little while. Uh, we hope uh, with the significant uh, presence and uh, consequences for the good of the industry in general. Um, uh, what about our members? A few words, yes. We have uh, now about 130 uh, member companies spread all over the country. Um, yeah, about, but I think, it's, I think it's mostly in Bucharest because most of the IT is in Bucharest. In Bucharest, because, and, and we've noticed that uh, the other uh, university and technical centers are catching up in terms of numbers of companies and uh, representatives as, as number of employees and uh, uh, business turnover. So we are talking about an industry who hopefully will be reaching 4 billion euros in terms of turnover this year. Uh, our member companies uh, uh, together have about 2.5 billion euros turnover. And I think th at the last count, it was more than 35 people employed. So quite a lot of, uh, out of the probably one, 100,000 people uh, employed formally in the industry. So we consider ourselves representative at the country level. Uh, and we have on our side as members uh, quite a lot of companies, significant companies, but all kinds of companies, uh, different sizes, from startups to big Romanian companies or SME, uh, SMEs with uh, Romanian ownership, let's say, and um, uh, multinational companies. So all kinds of uh, uh, companies in terms of size, in terms of uh, turnover and or employees are members of the association because they find something uh, in what we do that is of interest for them. I think the dynamics kind of changed in the last year because I'm also more active with Anis myself. Uh, and as a member, I kind of saw more benefits in terms of what the association is actually doing for, for its members. Uh, but traditionally, I would say that in Romania, it's a bit difficult to get people working together, right? Uh, how do you think that, uh, how do you think uh, Anis is making this possible in the IT industry where people would tend to go somewhere, you know, do their coding and then uh, get rich by selling Bitcoin? Uh, <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be nice to do at the association level as well? Um, so I think we've been around for 20 years. It's been difficult to get people, always it's been difficult to get people to come together and do something for the common good. It's not just about this year, it's been always like this. Maybe this year actually a little bit, it was a little bit easier because when you have a lot of common issues then uh, that hurt you, you are more More likely, specifically, we're talking about the fiscal code regulations, uh, yeah, about the new, ta the new general, taxation. So, so if that, that's hurting, and it's, it's, uh, it's the same thing at, uh, at personal level. If, if something hurts you, you are trying to uh, get in touch with people who have, who have the same problems and try to find a solution together. So this is what we have been trying. We are actually selling associative culture in, in Romania quite a lot. And a tough sell in Romania, I would say. Uh, yeah, but because because a lot of or several bad things are happening, it this makes our job slightly easier because we're trying to do something <laughs> about it. Okay, so uh, we've been trying to do that uh, all along. It, it's it's been a little bit uh, complicated this year, and we've been discussing this uh, in the board that uh, a lot 
of our activity during this last year uh, was concentrated in uh, patching things up. I don't right, know. right. I mean, of, of course, the times are a bit, uh, you know, unpleasant, especially for, for IT companies that somehow were kind of spoiled in the last years because they had some support from the Romanian government, governments, right? Uh, and this year, this uh, marriage is, uh, is not looking that, that well. However, uh, one might think that uh, Anis is kind of just fighting to protect uh, its members, but at the same time, and it's also working with the government, trying to uh, also help the industry. And uh, I would like to uh, to switch to... Just a, a short note. Okay. I don't very much like this word spoiling because it means that you're getting something that you don't deserve. And I don't think that it is our case. Just setting this straight, let's say. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, so, as I said, it's not just protecting the members because, you know, uh, stuff happens in the market that's not necessarily helping the industry grow. Uh, but on the, same, on, on, on the same time, we're also, Anis is working with uh, Romanian governments in the last two, uh, helping public institutions do a better job at tenders, right? And that's why I want to switch to Mihai. Mihai, you're, you, I know that you have been involved for, I would say, maybe you're the guy that made uh, some things happen you in too. regards to... <laughs> you too, yes, right? I was also involved, but I would say you were definitely carrying the, the flag over that. So can you tell us a little bit more about how uh, Romanian IT companies and Romanian entrepreneurial companies via ANIS actually are helping the government to do a better job at uh, spending our money? Okay, so uh, my story with uh, ANIS, we've been a member for maybe, I don't know exactly, but maybe five or seven years, something like that. But we were just a, a simple member. Um, and ANIS is encouraging its members to get involved with active projects. And this is how I got involved in uh, writing a guide um, for um, educating public institutions to do public tenders regarding software. So this is how we published at the beginning of this year, we published uh, the first guide in this, uh, in this area, uh, which was very well received, uh, and we, already, we are already seeing the results in the market. We are already seeing tenders that are being uh, prepared, uh, taking the, our guidelines into, considerations, into consideration. So why the need for uh, an owner's association to actually build such a guide for public institutions? First of all, it's... This is not a question for the Romanian audience, because the Romanians know why, but... Okay, first of all, it's the, it's the power of being, of, of having representatives. So, uh, other than the, the work that we are doing within ANIS, so we are actually vol volunteering work within ANIS, me, Alex, uh, Valerica is part of the executive team. Um, we also are very active within the, um, uh, with the parliament and doing lobby uh, in the interest of the software industry. So it's the power of having rep powerful representatives. So Alex, that I've already seen here, is... It's, uh, it's not me, it's him. <laughs> it's the other Alex, yeah. It's very active uh, in, in this area. Uh, can you explain a little bit why, again, we need such a guide and if uh, it can be used outside the uh, public sector? Because there are private companies here represented and maybe they need that as well. What okay. do you think? Um, one of our main objectives at, uh, at ANIS is to, to, grow, uh, to grow our industry and the market. And um, we've seen that we have a growth on external markets, so we are actually exporting, but the internal market uh, is uh, on a plateau. So, and Actually, I think the forecast is that's just going down a little bit. It's going down. We're, we're working the line here. We're trying to avoid some subjects. We're trying to be so. too optimistic, maybe. <laughs> So, so yeah, we're, we're trying to, to fix this problem and open the public market for, uh, for the Romanian companies and the Romanian industry because, because the local market, so the public local market uh, was pretty... Right. So this uh, guide, let's say, it's not going to solve corruption and it's not going to make uh, the public but tenders it's, it's go, go, go perfectly around. I mean, if somebody's going to want to... Uh, just give that contract to a specific company, they will probably do it anyway. What we're trying to do is to make sure that somebody that has all the good intentions, but does not have the knowledge, and believe me, that's pretty much the rule, 
uh, have a checklist so that they can ask, like, who owns the source code? Are you using a repository? Will you provide me backup, services, maintenance, blah, blah, blah. That's why it's a very good uh, checklist also for the private sector. And I'm pretty sure that uh, most people buying software would benefit out of uh, reading that document. You're going to say, like, okay, I'm going to put that in my next contract. So if you do that, well, we're also maybe expecting a donation at Dennis, right? Yes. Uh, because you are talking about the trends for the local uh, the local market, uh, maybe uh, we can cover a little bit about the study that Anis has been uh, conducting in the past years. Um, so yeah, we have this study that we've been publishing. I think it, it's uh, next year will be the the fifth edition in a row, and we've been doing that because it was very difficult for Anis to find official. Um, statistics, let's say, for our industry, because software is not something that you pass through customs, so you cannot uh, know exactly at the uh, official level, let's say, uh, volumes uh, of, of exports, for instance, and also uh, subcontracting is, is a, a current uh, a policy in our industry, and, al and when you count the money, you actually count them several times. So yeah, plus, you have a very small distinction between the C in IT and C. It's like all put together, and it's hard yeah. to make up anything uh, to understand the market. So we decided to do this study on our own, and we're working with a consulting company. And the results of the study, uh, so the motivation behind it was to see where we are actually going. It was, I think the idea was started by Radu Georgescu, and he was uh, taking an example from a study done by NASCOM in India. They were looking at the main indicators for the industry to, uh, and trying to show that India is going away from uh, outsourcing and uh, into R&D and then uh, uh, projected uh, towards product. So are we going so we are to trying building to products or are we so still doing outsourcing in Romania? We try to do the same to, to have actual numbers to see where this is going. Uh, it's slowly going that way, very slowly. We are still, uh, Mihai was mentioning earlier, uh, we have 4 billion euros in revenue for uh, uh, the Romanian market. Uh, uh, what is sold from Romania uh, on the domestic market and outside. Out of this, barely one billion is for the domestic market. So it's a quarter or maybe a less of the business turnover generated by, by Romanian-based companies that is go it's staying here. Uh, uh, the domestic market or the acquisition of technology uh, on the domestic market are growing very slowly. Uh, and it's a pity because this is where you were asking about product versus services. This is where uh, products have a, a, a little bit um, more significance, let's say. Out of the one billion, uh, or slightly one billion, 35% uh, is generated by products. Uh, while for the, exports, uh, for the exports, out of the three remaining billion, 90 plus percent is generated by services. So, it's so less we're, than we're 10%. still talking big companies opening offices here, having hundreds or thousands of employees, but still servicing markets outside Romania yeah. and they're just using Romania as a, let's say, more affordable uh, labor. This is not, a, I'm, I'm trying to state this very clearly, this is not a bad, necessarily a bad thing for Romania. Or it, it hasn't been bad. I think it's a natural bad. step, yeah. Yeah, it hasn't been bad for all uh, of these years because. Um, Establishment of foreign companies here has created a lot of knowledge in the market. The people who are doing now successful uh, projects, successful products, start, or starting to work on products, are the people who have been working for multinational companies. They have been going through uh, sets of trainings and sets of skills that you cannot actually find primarily on the Romanian market uh, from, the, from the young graduates, let's well, say. School, uh, school system, yeah. 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 So that, that has been uh, helping our industry. Uh, it's a process, uh, I, I was mentioning uh, India's case earlier, but it, it's a process and we're talking a lot of, of, about creating a business model based on product, on IP. You need more than just the money, you need more than just the people. There is a whole ecosystem, a, a list of conditions that have to be met simultaneously so that can happen with some success at least. Not the, the biggest one, but at least with some success. And you need all this, uh, this thing happening at the same time. So is it Romania still a sexy market to go and open a big team? Uh, is it easy to recruit? Uh, how's the 
How's the competition looking these days? Do you do you find it easy to recruit? Have only the yeah, yeah. Can can you can you take this one? <laughs> no, this this is what I wanted to say that uh, we identified also in the studies that one of the our um, biggest issues right now is uh, with finding uh, with with finding people, and we're active in this area as well. So, for example, um, the fact that uh, informatics is starting to it's. So it already became uh, mandatory. mandatory. Yes, mandatory it is, and that's also uh, thanks to Anis, partially. Yeah, it's also part of our our doing. So we're active in uh, in this field, into education, technical education as well, and we have several uh, several projects in this area. And what I want to stress out is that we are a very powerful organization, and we're delivering results so it's not just that you're a member of anis but you also get benefits out of it so actually our call to action here is come join us yeah if that was not obvious right uh, so uh, i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the desi study uh, published at the uh, european level uh, we like to look at romania and uh, consider romania as the it star of the Eastern Europe, maybe. However, in that study, you realize that uh, measuring all the digital sides of life in Romania, we are ranking last at the European level. And this is also something that, at Anis, we try to, to address, both in um, lobbying with better education, for better education, uh, mandatory informatics in school, for instance, but also getting uh, companies organized, volunteering, and delivering various programs to school system uh, or colleges. Uh, and also working, as I said, for uh, the public system so that we can get better software, not just for our customers, but also for the citizens of, uh, of this country. Uh, what other initiatives would you like to mention that we are so supporting I, at I would like to, uh, to get, uh, not, not to get into more detail, but to mention that education is one of the most important areas uh, uh, of interest for us, and we've been doing a lot, and we will probably doing even more starting next year because we have a little bit of private financing for uh, education-related programs. Uh, and the other very big important pillar of our activity is related to innovation. Uh, big news this fall, uh, Anis has taken over organizing How to Web, which is the most significant uh, uh, event uh, dedicated to entrepreneurship and inno innovation in the region. And we will be doing uh, this event um, uh, starting with next year. But it's not just going to be the conference. We are trying to make uh, um, a series of, uh, of events, not un unfortunate events, uh, related to innovation that might include uh, uh, demonites organized in various um, uh, cities in the country, uh, maybe hackathons. Uh, and other communication products, let's say, related to, to innovation. What's the purpose of this? Um, we've been talking about product a lot and IP a lot, and we are trying, to, our role as an association is not to create the products or to create the intellectual property or to help one company do that, but to create the general environment, to help create the general environment, because it's not just on us, uh, where uh, this can happen more often and with more success. We've been uh, seeing, maybe you've been heard, uh, you've been hearing uh, during this year uh, quite a few success cases about companies started in Romania and going globally. Uh, investments of uh, a lot of money, a lot of million dollars. Uh, we are expecting um, available financing for startups and for uh, uh, innovation initiatives, let's say, uh, coming up in, in Romania next year, and we would like to use this context to actually make something really good for this country out of it. Thank you. If you guys have any questions, I mean, we are about to close the panel soon, so if you have any questions about the IT industry, about uh, what Anis is doing, or any other ideas that you want to pitch, don't hesitate. Just and raise you your hand, and, uh, and, and we'll uh, take your question. Thank you for that. Uh, we are right now, as I said, uh, working on a lot of projects, and one of them is uh, looking at the next European directives that are going to uh, get into action next year in May, I think, and I'm talking about GDPR. 
And uh, again, that's some, something uh, that can help the industry grow because whatever regulation will, uh, will impact companies will probably require just more technology. So it's just going to be more services and better products uh, as well. So uh, we're also handling that and we're going to, this is in the works right now, we want to have a guide for companies that want to understand how GDPR applies to them. As you know, the fines there are quite uh, staggering. It's like 20 million fine or 4% of your total group, uh, company group uh, turnover. So it's really bad. And we're trying to make sure that we uh, enable uh, Romanian IT companies to win, to see the opportunity over there and not just get scared by a new regulation. So again, if you have also questions in that uh, domain, GDPR, data protection, uh, don't, hes don't hesitate to ask. Uh, raise your hand and we'll bring the mic around. If you do. Until we have some questions, I want to mention one of the um, results that we had, some, uh, we had this year. Um, if you're familiar with the Romanian fiscal code, you maybe know that at the beginning of the year, the, um, the government changed the um, uh, taxation rules and this effectively rendered the, um, the, the tax exemption that we have, um, it was inapplicable for the most of us. And in about three or four months, through our, maybe five months, okay, that's not us, uh, through our lobby efforts, we managed to fix, uh, to fix that. And at this moment, we are also actively trying to do something about the new... The new changes, the new and changes. probably the future changes next future week changes. as well. Yeah, so it's, a continuous, so it's a continuous effort. So if you're doing business in Romania, you need to be, and you're doing software, you need to be part of, uh, part of ANIS. Can I just ask, how many of you guys uh, are identifying yourselves as uh, being from a software company? Yay. It's the right how many audience. of you guys are members of ANIS? Whoa. That's, That's a good <laughs> audience. Go get them. I, I would like to get a into a little bit of uh, detail uh, about what Mihai said, because uh, it's not the actual content on the taxation issue, but some discussions that have been going in the public space related to uh, advantages, and you were mentioning at the beginning the word spoiled, uh, advantages may be unfairly given to uh, people or companies in the industry. I would like to state once again that it's not a question of spoiling this industry or, or the people that work for it. We are actually producing value and giving a, a set of facilities, a set of advantages is only helping this industry grow even more so that we can return more money into the society, not only at the state budget. Uh, it's not a question of just uh, giving a percentage of money for free but it, it's actually a form of investment and it doesn't matter where or in what form this is given, as long as it's supporting the growth of the industry, the growth of the innovation part that we are so much supporting, okay? As, as long as it's helping this area develop more, this will only be beneficial for the whole country. So this is what we are actually trying to sell, let's say, to all stakeholders, not only the official part, uh, contribute to the, the growth of the industry, to the uh, development of, of the companies, because it will be slightly better for all of us. I know it sounds a little bit maybe socialist, don't shoot me for it, but this is how uh, stuff are working, is working. Yes, uh, right now, if I'm not mistaken, IT makes up about five to six percent of the five point six percent for last year. Right, right. What are the uh, forecasts in the next for the next two years for the next four years? I mean, before uh, I've been, I've been asking all, I've been all these changes that are happening these days. I mean, uh, optimistically, what do, would you think is possible for IT? I'm not the optimist person. I've been asked uh, a lot of questions about that in the in the last days by by media. Uh, what are the new prognosis for development uh, of the industry? It's hard to say right now. So I can only say what we were thinking was going to happen uh, at the end of last year. So our study looks into that as well. Uh, the data from uh, what we published in May is at the uh, end of, uh, of last year. And we, in that edition, so in the May edition, we've seen uh, a growth for the last three years of 15.3%. And we were approximating, where the consultant company, 
per year, from year to year, uh, the same for the next three to five years. I'm not sure that's going to happen still. But the thing is, there's a lot of um, things that contribute to this growth. On one side, if we're talking about services and exports, uh, that depends largely on the number of people available in the industry. So if, if you don't have progressively more people, you cannot actually generate more money. And for the product side, you need a, a whole other set of conditions, let's say, that, that can support this. This may be the moment where the shift is happening, where it's starting to, to, to be more um, present, more obvious to companies, because if you cannot grow infinitely by the number of people, you might be interested in looking in alter alternative ways of making money, which is maybe basing that's, your business on product. But that's definitely an optimistic view. So yeah. you see the scarcity of uh, talented people uh, against the demand. It's something that's going to just create uh, better products in the future. That's totally optimistic. Yeah. I hope you're right. Uh, we only have a couple of minutes to close. So, uh, Mihai, if you have any closing words. No, no, thank you. you if don't you have, have any, any questions. Uh, I, was... okay. I don't think we're so lucky uh, to, get, to get any questions. But, guys, we're going to be here in the next minutes at the event. So feel free to uh, uh, talk to us, and we can cover uh, Romanian IT topics. Valerica, anything else? Join Anis. Okay. Join Anis. So thank you.